much too soon the ps5 pro is finally upon us coming this november we'll be getting an all new console except well let's start with the obvious the price is something else at $700, the new PS5 Pro is looking to be a disaster right away. $700 is something that not a lot of people can just afford right out of the pocket. And for that $700 to also not come with a disk drive is insane. The PS5 Pro is a ripoff. The marginal improvements simply just don't justify the astronomical price tag. And it's not, it's not even that big of a graphical improvement. Not only is the price almost $200 more than the regular PS5, you don't get anything extra for it. The console looks exactly the same. The menu looks exactly the same. The monthly subscription you're paying for to play online is exactly the same they're using the exact same cpu side by side the ps5 and the ps5 pro are going to look exactly the same where are these features that we've been promised we were expecting great things from the ps5 things like the rust finally working for console players discord finally being applicable and the controllers are absolutely horrible they only last a couple hours each the battery life on a PS5 controller drains faster than my bladder in the morning. The whole ecosystem is just a barren wasteland. The best thing that you get from PlayStation is their monthly games that they give you. You get two or three games every month. They're chosen at random, supposedly, from their side. And you get to keep them for as long as you're paying monthly for it. And all of that is on top of the fact that the PS5 Pro is set to not come with a disk drive. You'll have to pay $80 for that disk drive if you want to own any of the games that you purchase online. People buy the PS5 and the Xbox and Nintendo Switches. They buy these things because they want it to be easy to play games. They want to have a casual experience where you turn the system on and it just plays the game for you. So it's pretty messed up that the, mo the most accessible way to play video games is being destroyed by these upper companies and their horrible management. At this day and age, it's a necessity to be connected to the internet to enjoy the newest technologies and whatnot. However, it is not time to be rid of physical media. Owning digital copies of video games and movies is a slippery slope. Nobody reads the terms of service and you don't actually own anything that is held on a server online. So yeah, the PS5 Pro is a major disappointment. It's lazy, it's overpriced. They don't offer anything groundbreaking at all. And on top of that, they removed a feature and charged you more money. Life is great.